Hey, Chris Kasson back with you from Shamrock Foods. Today's uh, Shamrock Fresh. We're bringing you to our food processing facility where we cut all of our fresh cut fruit, our diced and sliced tomatoes, as well as our bell peppers, both julienne and diced. So I want to look at some of the products that we're showing here, and as we go through the processing room, we'll look at them actually cutting in firsthand. As you can see, we've got great color here. We're looking at a quarter inch dice. We've got our green bell peppers. Uh, they also do a red and a yellow. And the nice thing about this, and you'll see, is the way the container's made is you don't get any of that purge left in the container. So the product's not sitting in its own liquid. Uh, the little reservoirs down here in the bottom have crystals that when the moisture goes down in, in there, it actually absorbs it and uh, fills up this compartment, but doesn't allow that moisture to come back in. Now, if you're ordering bell peppers, whether it's julienne, or dice, you're going to be getting two of these containers per pack, and this is a two and a half pound uh, container, so you're getting a total of five pounds with your bell peppers. If you're getting the diced tomatoes, once again, quarter inch dice, very few seeds in here. Uh, they clean these pretty well before processing them. Once again, especially on tomatoes, you can see there's no purge coming out of there. Uh, and with the uh, diced tomatoes, you're also getting two two and a half pounders. And then when you get to the fruit, you're going to, on pineapple, because pineapple tends to be a little more expensive than honeydew and cantaloupe, you're looking at two two and a half pounders on the diced pineapple, and then two five pounders on the cantaloupe and honeydew. And if you look here, uh, these were processed today. It's a best use by date of November 2nd, and all of them will be stamped directly on the package. And so with this right now, we're looking at six days until the use by date is up. And obviously with something like pineapple, you have a higher sugar content. This is going to break down a little bit quicker than, say, uh, the bell peppers, where you can see that they've given this a use by date of November 3rd. So you're getting at least an extra day or two out of uh, the, the vegetable products versus the fruit. And then one last item, uh, which is a favorite of mine that they do here, is our sliced tomatoes. And these are done by, from a, uh, roughly a four by five tomato. And you can see that it's only the center cut. You don't get any of the ends, so it's 100% usable product. Uh, there's four of these two pounds to a case. And once again, very, very little purge coming out of these, so they're not gonna break down. And the fact that they're lined up straight up and down versus flat, like our competitors, they don't sit in their own juice. You can see the use by date on this one is used by November 4th. So great shelf life on this product. Uh, the containers are really nice, the way that they, they keep the product. And what's, what's even nicer is that each one of these is actually a half hotel pan. So if you're putting these in your low boy coolers, uh, you're able to just slide them right in. You don't need to transfer them to another, another pan. So let's go take a look at some of the product and uh, watch it being processed. So one of the items that they do over here at our processing facility is cut peppers, both red yellow and green, as well as diced on all three products as well. Uh, typically these items are coming with anywhere from four to six days shelf life, and we get them next day over at Shamrock. So uh, once you get these in your warehouse or into your kitchen, uh, typically going to hold at least another three or four days. So you can see here we're processing the uh, super sweet jet fresh pineapple, and the spec for all of our cut fruit is uh, going to meet a certain sugar bricks content. So it's got to be sweet enough so even during those winter months you're ensured that the fruit and the product that you're going to receive is, is of that sweetness that you're looking for. And you can see, even though everything's being cut by hand, it is a fairly consistent product. And as I stated before, all those products cut daily, so nothing is sitting for two or three days before it's getting to your back door. So you, here you can see the product being loaded into the cryovac machine. It's all hand loaded once again after the product's been weighed out. Uh, it goes run through the machine over here where you can see that it's being pressed with the cryovac uh, plastic wrap over the top. And as it feeds out, it gets run through a metal detector device to ensure that there's no foreign objects that could have made their way into the product. Thank you for joining us, and I hope by bringing you into the processing facility, it opened your eyes to maybe a few items you didn't realize Shamrock carried. And if I can give you two things to take away from today, uh, one is that by buying processed products, the consistency of the cuts and of the product coming into your back door is just as nice, if not sometimes better, than what you can do in-house. And the second half of that is the consistency on the price. And obviously, Mother Nature plays her part, um, and, and there are times when things do go through the roof, 
but for the most part, process items are locked in on a 6 or 12 month basis, which helps you ensure a more consistent cost uh, when, when doing your food costs for your menu. So I hope to see you next week, and please join us again for another version of Shamrock Fresh.